He's been one of TV's most recognisable stars. Presenter, artist, musician. Me. Me. Lovable role. But this trial revealed a darker side. An entertainer who used bear hugs to cover his sexual interest in underage girls. I don't know how he lives his life day to day. And I don't know how he sleeps at night. Tonya Lee was 14 when she travelled from Australia to London with a theatre group. Harris was the special guest arranged to meet them. She was paid for this interview. He came over to me and sort of edged me towards the pot plant and then went, sort of made out like he was going to give me a hug. Then he put his hands um, on my top and put his hands down um, my top um, and started to touch my breasts and then really quickly with the same hand um, before I knew it he put his hands up my skirt and he put his hands um, down my tights and pants. Harris always portrayed himself as a family man. He said he was a touchy-feely sort of person. The prosecution said it was simply an excuse to fondle girls. One as young as seven or eight, another his daughter's best friend. The woman told the court that it was when she was 13 and on holiday with Rolf Harris and his family in Hawaii that he first hugged and groped her. The abuse then continued when they were back here in the UK, including here at Rolf Harris's family home. She said on one occasion that she was sexually assaulted by him while his daughter Bindi was sleeping in the same room. She was so traumatised by what happened to her as a teenager that she would drink neat gin and allowed herself to be groomed and exploited until the age of 29. He sent this card when she was in her 20s, saying when it comes to having sex, if at first you don't succeed, beg. Harris wrote this apology letter to the woman's father. I fondly imagined that everything that had taken place had progressed from a feeling of love and friendship. There was no rape, no physical forcing, brutality or beating that took place. Please forgive me, love Rolf. He claimed the sexual relationship had only started when he was in this pantomime when she was 18. Yet the prosecution set out to prove that Harris was lying in court. Welcome to Cambridge. Um, what will the Until this footage was shown to the jury, he denied ever being in Cambridge during the 70s. Another victim said that he'd hugged her and grabbed her bottom while she was working as a waitress that day. She was 16. For over 50 years, choreographer Dougie Squires has worked with him in television and theatre, including with the dance group Young Generation, who performed on the Rolf Harris show. Well, I saw Rolf's bear hugs for years, and it found it very often, say, give us a hug to whomever it was. But you, you never saw the hands wander, or it wasn't ever suspicious. It was a bear hug, which uncles and fathers do. You know, that was the way I looked at it. Rolf Harris was known as a man that children and their parents could trust. Kids and water, they love it. Rivers, canals, even the lily pond in the garden. Starring in educational videos, including one called Kids Can Say No, alerting children to the dangers of abuse. Over the decades, he performed to sell out crowds, even painted the Queen. You're OK with the smell of turpentine, I hope. Well, we'll tell, won't we, soon? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Rolf Harris. He admitted in moral terms he'd not always been whiter than white, but the jury decided it went further than that. He'd used his fame to abuse young women, his celebrity a tool to satisfy his sexual desires. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.